In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up Spring Toolsuit ID on Windows 10 machine. Well, Spring Toolsuit ID is a very popular ID, especially for developing Spring based applications. Alright, so just go ahead and open your favorite browser and here I'm in a Chrome browser and just type Spring Toolsuit download and go ahead and click on first link here that is spring tool suit so this is the official website of spring so go ahead and click on this link and it will navigate to the spring io website and scroll down and here you can see you can download spring tool suit id for different operating systems so if you are using linux then go ahead and download sts for linux here and if you are using mac then you can go ahead and download sts for mac operating system and we are interested in windows in this video so go ahead and click on you know windows 64 bit uh, option here all right so go ahead and click on windows 64 bit option here to download sts for windows 10 machine so i'm going to click on this and once i click on this you can look at here spring tool suit 4 is you know downloading on my file system so as of now spring tool suit 4.10 is available and this is the latest release of spring tool suit id okay just wait couple of seconds to download spring tool suit id jar file okay so depends on your internet speed uh, it will you know take the time to complete the download all right once download completes you can see keep or discard so click on keep option and just open this file in a folder okay so here you have show in folder option so go ahead and click on show in folder and if you observe this file so this file is a jar file okay so you can see the type of the file is executable jar file and we need to extract this jar file so in order to do that first you have to install java so make sure that you have installed java on your machine before extracting this file so go ahead and double click on this jar file if you can observe here unpackaging spring tool suit okay and let's wait a couple of seconds to complete unpackaging 100 percent It's pretty simple to set up Spring Tool Suit ID. Okay, you just go ahead and download Spring Tool Suit ID from the official website and just double click on it. And you can able to see here unpacking Spring Tool Suit ID. Alright, it's pretty simple. All right, so once 100% complete, then you can see here the folder is created. And just open this folder and here you can able to see Spring Tool Suit 4, you know, file. So in order to launch STS, then you can go ahead and click on this Spring Tool Suit 4 icon here. So go ahead and click on it. Let's wait a couple of seconds to launch Spring Tool Suit ID. So look at here, it will ask a directory to set up the workspace. So by default, it will create a workspace in documents folder. Okay. So you can also change the workspace here. Click on browse and uh, create a folder in your file system. And you can make that folder as a workspace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the desktop and here I will create a new folder and I name it as spring projects something like this and I choose this folder and click on select folder and I just launch this ID in order to launch click on launch button. Perfect.
so our spring Bo spring tool suit id is launched and here you can see a couple of options so you can go ahead and directly create a different kind of projects like you can create a java project you can create a spring boot project and you can import existing spring based projects so let me create a simple spring boot application so that we, we can conclude uh, saying that our spring tool suit id setup is you know perfectly working on windows so go ahead and click on this link create new spring starter project and look at here this is a spring initializer uh, link so spring initializer is basically integrated in spring tool suit id and instead of going to uh, you know uh, going to this website and creating a spring pro boot project over there you can directly create spring project by using spring initializer inside spring tool suit id all right so let's go ahead and let's give project name as demo and choose project type as maven here packaging as jar and i'm going to use java origin 16 this is the latest release of java as of now and choose language java and let's keep group mm -hmm. id as it is and artifact id and everything default as it is so this is a, just a demo project i'm going to show you that's the reason i'm going to keep all the you know uh, default values as it is click on next and look at your spring boot version so this is the latest and stable release of spring boot as of now and you can choose here the spring boot starter dependencies in order to create a spring muc project or spring boot rest api application you need to choose the starter dependency that is spring web starter dependency i'm going to choose a spring web starter dependency and if you want to work with databases like mysql database or postgres sql database then you can go ahead and you can choose spring or uh, data jpa dependency okay so along with that you need to also choose a database driver for example in case of mysql driver you need to choose mysql jdbc driver all right great now let's go ahead and let's hit finish so maven will basically download all the dependencies from the internet and it will store in local repository and look at here spring boot project is created successfully open the application that is demo application class so this is a spring boot main class all right and you can run this spring boot application as a standalone by using this class because this class has a main method all right let's go ahead and let's run this project and let's see whether it will successfully run or not right click run as spring boot application and there we go spring boot is successfully you know running on tomcat server on port 8080 it means that we have successfully you know created a spring boot application and we have deployed in embedded tomcat server it's pretty simple to install and set up spring tool suit id on windows 10 machine let me summarize the steps that we have implemented so we have downloaded spring tool suit id as a jar file for windows 64 bit and then we have extracted and then we have launched spring tool suit id on our local machine and we have created a simple spring boot application in order to test whether our setup is working as expected or not okay great